Hi everybody, this is Michael. And this is Carolyn. And this is the Penguin Coffee Clutch. And I'm home. Yes, you're home. <laughs> we did a lot of sailing. We did a lot of sailing. It was fun. But we were able to at least keep in touch. So that was good. Yeah, I know. I was, I was a little worried. Why? Well, because, uh, uh, I don't know if you remember, but uh, we're doing a uh, podcaster swap. Yes, I've ordered stuff. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't have to send it out till the February 8th. Correct. Right. Yeah. So I've looked at my person. Mm -hmm. So I've done a little research. I've done a little ordering. Mm -hmm. What I've ordered should come in by the 3rd, which will give me time to do something with it. I have something specific in mind. I don't want to tell you about it because she might watch our podcast. I guess that's true. Who do you have? No. I'm not telling. You're not telling? <laughs> I'm not telling. We're not allowed to tell? I'm not telling. I don't think you're supposed to tell. I really? It's supposed to be a surprise. Well, but I, the person who I have knows who I am, who, who, that I have her. Really? Yeah. See, I have no idea if my person knows I have her. I think you're swapping with each other, so I'm pretty sure she Oh, knows. I have no idea. Okay. I just, I was just well, well, matched. Well, my person told me that we're swapping with each other. Oh, well, I didn't get that piece of information. Okay. So okay. I don't know. Well, I, I'm, I have uh, Andy of Andre Sunit. Oh, great. Yeah. Very so nice. I'm pretty excited. Very nice. Well, I thought I'd finish this pair of socks. This. It's toe-up. It's my second pair of toe-up socks. And I'm playing with um, different colored heels and toes. And I'm, I'm pretty pleased at the moment. This And the other thing I'm playing with is that this is BFL um, from Neighborhood Yarn, Cobblestone. Okay. And um, I'd been working with regular merino and nylon sock wool. And I wear my socks as slippers. I don't really wear these socks in yeah, my regular work shoes. Mm -hmm. Because I wear dress shoes to work. Makes sense, yeah. I mean, when I'm wearing my hiking boots, yes, mm -hmm. these are good. But really, what I love about handmade socks is that they're so warm. So for me, it's, I take my shoes off when I get home and I slip my socks on. And what I do is I wear out this bottom. Mm -hmm. So I had um, Kate Atherley. Uh, at Vogue Mini Live, mm -hmm. um, morning and afternoon, and we got, the whole class got into a discussion of what can we do for longevity of the various pieces of the sock, Okay. and basically Merino's not a good choice. Why? Um, it's too soft. Okay. Okay, so it, it doesn't have the guts. To, it, it doesn't have the internal structure to stand up to really hard wear or mm -hmm. friction. Mm -hmm. So if I wore my socks and shoes, they probably would not wear out because there's no friction. Okay. Or the only place... That doesn't make sense. The only time you have a wear out of a sock is when there's friction. So if there's some part of the sock that's too big so that it's moving a little bit Begin between your foot and your shoe, uh -huh. that part will wear. Okay. Okay? So, but I wear mine as slippers. So uh, I'm constantly yeah, wearing yeah. them against the floor. That'd, so there's friction. Yeah, that'll do it. And I never wear mine out in the back of the heel, even though that's where a lot of the slip one, knit one yeah. extra is for. Mm -hmm. But that's not my problem. My problem is on the bottom. So we talked about BFL. Okay. And how BFL has more structure to it. And then doubling up yarn, which is what I've done here. So it's double strength from the heel. Well, how does that feel? It feels yummy. <laughs> <Does> it? <laughs> because it's against a floor. Okay. In other words, it's more padding against the floor. Okay, sure. In a shoe, it might be a problem. Mm. Um, Kid Silk Haze, Rowan's Kid Kid Silk Haze. Mm -hmm. Light but strong. Mm -hmm. um, it was also suggested if you wear, make socks to wear in shoes, that instead of doubling the yarn that you're working with, you might want to take the yarn you're working with and then find a coordinating color in Kid Silk Haze mm -hmm. and run that in the place of your sock where you get the most wear. Mm -hmm. So for some people, it would be their toes. Right. You know, 
everybody has issues with toes or different yeah. stories about toes. I, I have issues with toes. So. All right. Well, I have issues with heels when I wear my socks and slippers. Mm -hmm. So right now I don't have any kids sell haze. Mm -hmm. So I decided to double up on the sock bowl. So anyway, that's what this is. This is trying out new heels and toe up. So I'm excited about that. Um, I bought Lester Long Wool. Okay. Yeah, well, we were talking about how blue-faced Lester had more structure. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like Lester's. Apparently, there's three Lester's. Okay. Blue-faced, Long Wool, and I forget the third cousin. <laughs> it's another Lester. So anyway, at Vogue Knitting Live, there mm -hmm. were two shepherds that brought their sheep's wool in um, that were that grow that raise long Lester long wools. So I'm not really certain whether Lester long wool will make what kind of sock that'll make, but it seems to be a kind of a toughish kind of wool. So I think that'll be interesting to try just to see the difference between that and BFL. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm doing exploration. Yeah, that's really all, exciting. That's always good to do. I yeah, think. so I'll keep yeah, you posted. That's, that's, that's how a lot of my designing goes down. So it's fun. I, it keeps <laughs> you interested. Yeah. So this this is BFL double heel toe up. So three different issues going on there, and is this a self striping? This this is what it is. So I wouldn't have called it self striping. I would have called it maybe a gradient of some kind. No, it's not a gradient. It's variegated. It's not really self. Yeah, I guess it's variegated. I think it, I think it's a variegated. I think it's evergreen. Is I think the the hmm. pattern. I mean the the colorway. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I like the feel. I mean it's a little tougher than merino. Yeah. Um, the long Lester long wool feels much tougher than this. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how it was processed. Mm -hmm. I do know that it's not super washed. N neither of these are super washed. Now this one I started on the plane home, and um, we managed to start going home on Monday at eleven o'clock when the taxi comes to the dock. Oh boy! To take us to the ferry, mm -hmm. and then it was a high speed ferry. To the next dock, so different island. So from Tortola over to St. Thomas. Okay. And then we had to go through customs oh. at the dock. Mm -hmm. They were lovely. They were so cute. I I bought a, a metal fish that's painted. Painted metal fish. Yes. Well, that's what the woman said. She goes, oh, yeah, decoration. I said, yeah, from Anagata. She goes, oh, yeah, I know those things. They're so cute. We, we got into quite a discussion. Mm -hmm. Um and so really delightful and just, you know, was this your first trip and we'd love to, have, they were really, both on the British Virgin Islands side, they were just adorable. Mm -hmm. um, and coming back in, it really went very well. Um, and then caught another taxi over to the airport. The airport was a zoo, just a zoo. There were people backed up from the snowstorms. Yeah. And. I understand that. Well, the snowstorm was Saturday. And a little into Sunday. Mm -hmm. This is Monday. Yeah, yes, I, 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 and, I remember and it. There are no empty seats in the airport. Okay, that's none, fun. None. That's a lot of fun. And and I, I paid extra for TSA pre-check. Okay. Because I'm old and cranky and I'd rather not to take my shoes off. It's mm -hmm. like, and it's $80 for five years. Mm -hmm. So I figured for eighty dollars, I might not having to untie my shoes, take my shoes off, you know, all this other kind of stuff. Because I also tend to lose things going through security, like my watches. The pre-check line is shut. Oh, fun. Yeah. So the line we came in to the St. Thomas Airport, and we were, you know, then we had to go through. We we there was another person there that we had to tell all about our travel plans. I don't know who this person was because we've already come through custom. Just extra nosiness, I guess. And then we had to go through the line this way, and then through the line this way, and then and then we thought, well, this is not bad. And then you look down the hall, you make the left, and it's and as I'm 
remember that the pre-check is closed. Um, and there's a lot of people there who don't live in New York. They're not used to long lines. Mm. <laughs> and they're complaining. One guy ahead of us said, it feels like I'm in North Korea. And I'm going, what? <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of an odd it's a statement. Very strange. I'm thinking it's a beautiful... Has he, has he ever been to North Korea? Because I'm imagining he hasn't. <laughs> I'm imagining not. I think he was from Kansas, if you really want to know. So any place that has like some agita involved must be like a totalitarian state. Okay, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> Whereas for us, it was like, yeah, you're lucky it's not it's, Kennedy. <laughs> it's good to know we live in a totalitarian state. Mm. But... We, we were, now we flew down on one plane. It was a nonstop. Mm. I don't really re know why we couldn't get a nonstop home. Maybe because we made the reservations late because Richard had this brainstorm a little late. But anyway, we had to change in Charlotte. And I remember that you said, you're on the plane and you're in Charlotte. You're coming home. This is great. And I went, let's just make sure we get on the next plane. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm. Until I'm on that next plane, you just don't know what's yeah, going to happen. And even true. at that point, had there been a problem, they could have diverted us. Mm -hmm. But then they would have been responsible for getting us to JFK. I think they would have had to get a bus or something. Anyway, mm -hmm. in the airport, we met people from church mm -hmm. who were coming in from New Orleans, and they were supposed to take a plane to LaGuardia. Oh, fun. That Monday was when there was a car accident at LaGuardia. Ooh. And it turned into a car fire, mm. and they shut LaGuardia for four hours. Um, sounds about <laughs> I right, can't yeah. understand why they couldn't get this car out of there. But they actually stopped planes from landing and taking off because no one could get in or out of the airport. Mm. It was just amazing. So anyway, we got our plane. Oh, I found a great place to eat in the um, Charlotte airport. Okay. The Speedway Cafe. Speedway Cafe. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be some kind of redneck thing. They were wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. has a menu. It has alcoholic drinks, non-alcoholic drinks, all kinds of choices. And the wait staff are great. They understand. You're here. you got to eat fast. You've got to get mm. to the next gate. Mm. And it was ping, 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 And it was right. The <laughs> order was correct. Oh, it was wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful, and it was good food, so that was a win. Um, and then, as I said, we got on the plane in uh, Charlotte, and we got into JFK. That was fine. There was a lot of emergency vehicles that looked like or flashing lights on the tarmac. I have no idea what was going on there. But we landed, waited an hour for the um, luggage to come. Finally, some guy from American Airlines had to kind of go up the ramp, kick something loose, and did something else, and then everything came down. <laughs> and uh, then we stopped at uh, Grandpa's house on the way home to pick up two snow shovels. And then we shoveled our way into the house. Shoveled uh, your way into the house. Yes. Mm. Yes. It was four feet at, at the driveway mm. um, because of the plow. Mm. Uh, but yeah. anyway, it was a good time. We had a wonderful time. It was fantastic. So, anyway, yeah. what did you do while I was gone? I uh, dealt with the snow. That was that was Saturday and Sunday and Monday. Yeah, that that was that was fun. Um, which you know, fortunately, we prepared ahead of time. We knew we weren't going to be going anywhere anytime soon, and yeah. so we we stocked up and food. Yeah. Yes. But I mean, our our area is not a priority at all. It's it's. And I don't understand. Queens is a lovely area. Well, no, it's not even just Queens, because I'm sure Queens Boulevard got plowed plenty, and we're, we're pretty close to Queens Boulevard, but just this area that we're in, just it's not a priority. I, I saw one plow right as the snowstorm was beginning, and didn't see another one until, like, Monday. So. That's depressing. Yeah. But, you know, our, our super did a really good job, he, and, and it, most of the people in the neighborhood did a pretty good job, too. Um, plowing all or shoveling all the sidewalks and stuff. So, you know, I think things were walkable. It wasn't it wasn't actually as bad as as it, it might have been. Yeah, but you know, we, we just spent the weekend hiding more than anything. Well, that's one of the nice things about a snowstorm is that you have an excuse for spending time in hiding. Yes. 
And then the other thing that happened is my, my wife, I don't know if she sprained. Slipped? Yeah, she slipped on ice. I don't know if she sprained her foot or broke it or something. But, it's early days yet. But, 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 but either way, it, it was bad enough that she has to stay off of it. So she's been walking around on crutches, and she's been she's been pretty cranky. I didn't tell you what I did to my ankle. Okay. <laughs> Ten minutes before we're off the boat, I jammed one of the Bimini handles mm. into my ankle. Mm. as I'm trying to put the fenders out on the boat so we can go into the gas dock. So mm. I'm running back and forth with the fender, tying it on back. I go back to the back. I get my, I plant my foot. I turn, and I realize I've got the painter or rope, the uh, rope from the dinghy around my foot. If I go forward, I'm going to plant my face on the oh. deck. So I, I'm trying to, I reach out to the lifeline. I hold on. I shake my foot. And what I didn't realize is that this handle from the Bimini cover is pointed down. And so as I bring my foot up, I drive it mm. into my ankle. I screamed and dropped to the deck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I couldn't walk on it. Oh. So now Richard is circling in, in the, by the gas dock. We're scaring the crud out of this one guy who's got a very gorgeous boat. Mm -hmm. As Richard trying to ascertain what did I do? Did I twist it? And I, I can't, I can't talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it hurts so bad. I mm -hmm. can't talk. Um, and I finally, you know, suck it up, and I'm going to go move the fenders so that we can get into the gas dock and you know, get, you know, get settled. And I put my foot down, and I can't walk on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Richard. Says, hold on to the wheel. He, I hold on to the wheel. He runs downstairs. He gets ice. I prop my foot up on ice. And then he's running around, steering the boat a little bit, then moving the fenders. <laughs> that was the only time we got hurt on the boat. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> it's something about this weekend. Yeah, at least, at least you're walking on it now. <laughs> yeah, I am walking on it now. Luckily, I had my um, ankle brace. Mm -hmm. I travel with medical equipment. <laughs> Yeah, makes sense. Um, I have a portable cane, a collapsible cane, and I have my ankle brace. Mm. Um, I did not have my hiking boots, but I did have, at least have the brace. So we iced it, oh gosh, for about three hours. And then I put the, the, um, the brace on it. So that by the next day, the swelling hadn't gotten worse. And with the brace and all that kind of stuff, it's doing and with hiking boots it's that extra structure mm. so I'm waiting till next week for real shoes <laughs> I'm sorry that your wife sprained her ankle it yeah. hurts like the son of a gun yeah so she's been working from home the days I've been home it's just it's been kind of tight crazy I don't know it's 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 it's, it's a little difficult sometimes yes because so, the ankle hurts and so it translates yes yes but, I see the crutches over there, though. Yeah, so that's, that's, a, that's one good thing that came out of it, I guess, is we decided to decorate her crutches. Uh, so we, we just I took some scrap yarn. Oh, that's pretty. From the yarn closet. Uh-huh. Wrapped it around the crutches. Uh, this one's especially pretty. I like that. Yeah. Very nice. Is that sock yarn? It's Yeah, it's sock yarn. I don't know exactly what it is. Well, that'll help cheer somebody up. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, so she she had a hard time walking around on the crutches for a while. She, she we have this um, this end table on wheels, and so she she's been rolling around on that for a while, and so I think she's finally starting to learn how to use the crutches. Okay. So I can thank Curious George for that. Excellent. Thank you, Curious George. <laughs> Animals are our friends. Absolutely. Well, and chimpanzees in real lives are not our friends at all. They are very aggressive. Curious George is a friend. Yes, Curious George is our friend. He's yes. an anthropomorphic ape. Yes. <laughs> kind of like humans, but more monkey-like. Yes. Yes. So what have you been working on in terms of woolery? Oh, that's... Yeah. What, what about Vogue? Do you want to talk about Vogue knitting? So what about the VKL stuff? 
Um, well, I mean, there's a lot of VKL stuff. Well, share. Okay. <laughs> sure. Let me, let me, let me share. I mean, Vogue, Vogue Knitting Live was exciting. We went there on Saturday. Mm-hmm. I mean, you were, you were there too, but you, you had class. I had classes. Yeah. 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 So. Um, I, I think I have to avoid taking so many classes next time, but mm-hmm. I love the classes. So mm-hmm. it's hard. You know, I, I mean, I love the idea of sitting around and talking to people and meeting people, but the mm-hmm. people that are there as teachers are amazing, and I don't want to give that up either. Mm-hmm. So we'll have to think about that for next year. So anyway, yes, <laughs> I was there starting Friday, Friday morning. Okay. Well, we just we just went there Saturday. Okay. So so yeah, you 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 were there. You were, did more Vogue knitting live stuff than we did. Yeah, I think you did more shopping. That's true. Uh, it wasn't really me as much as my wife. So you did gazing? Is that what you did? I, I, I did a little, um, uh, wait, what's it called? Networking? Oh, nice. So. With yarn producers or? Uh, yeah, pretty much indie dyers more than anything. Okay. So, you know, it's just, just a few yarn companies. Mm-hmm. Um, so there, there was Neighborhood Fiber. Um, which is what this is. Yeah. Which and is, this, too. This was last year's one of their sweater collections mm-hmm. where you get to choose your yarn and, and here's the pattern and stuff. Mm-hmm. I like Neighborhood a lot. Yeah. And I should mention that my wife bought so much stuff at Neighborhood Fiber that she got two free Neighborhood Fiber bags. And one free neighborhood fiber t-shirt. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so, she made good friends. Yes, which is probably actually good for me. Probably, yes. But, but yeah, see, we, 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 we tried to buy out the neighborhood fiber stock. So. Well, maybe that's why there was so little left when I went looking for my BFL then. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there was neighborhood fiber. Mm-hmm. And there was also uh, Springtide Cashmere, which was right by the Long Island Yarn Crawl booth. It was pretty cool, the Long Island Yarn Crawl booth, because it was like right there when we entered. And yes, it was right by the door. Go in, and it's like, oh, I know you. Hi. <laughs> so that, that was fun. Um, and there was also Twisted Fiber Art, uh, which is made up of these gradients. Uh, so it's these cakes that are gradients. Nice. Um, Long gradients. Yeah. Um, and so that 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 was that one's pretty cool because I, I like the idea of gradients. And I, mm-hmm. I'd like to work with gradients. So you know, I, I I'm. A lot of the shawls that the criminal knitters do, they like using the long gradients. Mm-hmm. So, so 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 I'm I'm considering. Uh, Coming up with some designs for them. Well, that would be exciting. Yeah, and then there was Oink Pigments. Ah. And they, they have a lot of colors, and I, I really like some of their colors. So they gave me this thing that all their... Color chart. Yeah, all their colors on it. Nice. Um, so can you call them and say I'd like some of whatever? Uh, it's more of an email type of thing, ah, and I, okay. I prefer to have at least some sort of proposal. So. Okay, so you're gonna come up with some design. Yeah, something like that. So. I think that'll be fun. Yeah. And na- I, I think Korea from neighborhood is just adorable. So, <laughs> um, I think that there's, it, she's just so sweet. She yeah. really is. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So very, that that, that, nice. that was the bulk of what I did. And did you go over to Dragonfly? Uh, yeah, but, you know, I, I, I went there to purchase rather than to network. So. Mm, I got some of the Lady Liberty colors. Oh. Yes. I got one of Danzel, mm-hmm. and then I got four, like, deep chocolate black mm. um, to make a sweater so I can use the Lady Liberty as an accent in the sweater Mm -hmm. and then I picked up some of their lace in the Lady Liberty because I want to make the summer in Kansas shawl Mm -hmm. and um, so I got two of those I need 14 or 1500 yards and two make 17 so I'm I'm good I I had made a sweater from their 
big apple colorway two years ago. I was really excited that they were going to have a colorway for this year. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. So I've logged it in, and now I have to get through some of these other things that I'm making till I can get to touch it. I understand. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we went to the loop booth first, and we bought some loop. Um, this is River Dance. So beautiful. Blue and a green. I love it. Now, do here. you have a, a, a spin? Now, are you going to do this on a wheel? Or are you going to do this on a spindle? I so should probably do it on a wheel. Mm. And then there's some um, snow dune. <gasps> Look. Yeah. Oh, that'll be gorgeous. Pretty cool. So many different ways you can work with that. I should probably work it from the center pole out. Although I don't know how I should apply them. But, you know, you could do the color as it goes through the color change, or you could mix it, mm -hmm. or you could do a combination thereof. Yeah, and then this is Sunstorm. Huh, kind of a green? Yeah, it's like a green and a black. That could be very exciting. Yeah. And then we... <laughs> okay, now we have circus colors. Summer Spectrum. I think so. Yeah, this is... Kind of it looks very Caribbean to me. Those yeah. are colors I was with all week. Yeah. So. All week. Those are those are fun. Um. I I may commandeer that because that's definitely Caribbean colors. <laughs> Do you know we had such a good time at Richard's since we're going back next year? I'm I'm yes. I'm trying to talk him into a catamaran next year. We found out one problem I have on the boat. I can't steer the boat in a following sea. Okay. I get seasick. Mm. I'm too short. He's six two, so in a following sea, he can look over the wheel and he can sight to land mm -hmm. to drive the boat. So mm -hmm. you can you can drive it either looking at the compass and all the instruments, or you can do it by sight because you're usually sailing within sight of land. I'm too short. <laughs> so I have to look at the instruments, and by looking at the instrument panel, I'm also looking at the waves, and I'm getting the view of this, <laughs> and it takes about five minutes, and I'm gone. <laughs> I'm just gone. But what I can, so he needs to, he has to drive the boat, but I can raise the sails, lower the sails, I can do the adjustments, the tweaking, and all that kind of stuff. But so we we learned a few things on the trip too. Hi, darling. Yes. His widget. Who normally doesn't like company, but I've already gotten a kiss today. Oh, yeah. he's, he's hungry. Oh, I'm okay. A, I'm a bad daddy. I haven't fed him. Oh. Hey, <laughs> why, why, why don't you go back down? Okay. There you go. What is this? You've got, you know, you've got neighborhood in your lap. Yeah, so my wife bought a few sweaters quantities of neighborhood. <gasps> so Studio Worsted, Anacostia, which is this nice green color. Uh huh. Yes, it is. Um, and then we have Studio DK Rock Creek Park. I like that. It's kind of interesting. And uh, then, of course, do you know the zoo is down by Rock Creek Park. No, I didn't. Yes, the Washington Zoo is down by Rock. Creek. It's a very exciting place. <laughs> it it feels like you're going into a jungle if you go through the main gate because mm -hmm. there's all these huge century old trees oh. that hang over and this metal gate it's, it's like really gothic to go through it and it's this rock creek is then kind of going along the road it sounds interesting it is my wife would love that she really loves zoos uh, i love the washington zoo mm -hmm. i was born in alexandria and then my grandparents have lived there forever so mm -hmm. every time we go down we go to the zoo mm -hmm. it's it's a great zoo so sorry about that. A little <laughs> aside here. And then we got some Georgetown, which he was dying for this color. It's this really blue purple color. Well, it's because really your wife pretty. is an intelligent person. Of course, she'd be dying <laughs> for it. Yes, and then there was. We also what went, is this? We got a couple of self-striping yarns. It's. Uh, huh. Caribbean, I didn't see that. Caribbean Jello shots from Cocktail. <laughs> I did not see any Jello shots while I was there. Yes, it's just self striping. It has like a lot of strawberry daiquiris. Yellow and white and blue and gray. It's it's pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah. Um. What else did we get here? 
Madeline Tosh. Oh. You know, they didn't get very much of this. They got from Duchess. Duchess. That's gorgeous. Oh, where she got this? Must have been one of the Hi, Molly. stores. Molly. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> and this? Uncommon Thread. Which uh, I I remember this. It was at one. It was definitely at one of the knitting store places. It's mm -hmm. uh, hundred percent superwash merino, four hundred meters. Um, so like four and twenty yards or something like that. Yeah, it's hand dyed in Britain, and it, it's just it's really nice green color. She's been really into this green lately, so she really liked. Very nice. So that that's. Well, we got we got another cocktail. Um, a <laughs> different cocktail. After five. Oh, that's nice. So it's it's a uh, so like a white and uh, come on Molly out of the way. Oh, there went our microphone. And the timer. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Did the timer go too? I don't see it anymore. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Please, please stand by the technical difficulty. <laughs> That's right. So is this socks? Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's probably going to be a sock. Um, well, that would be cute. Yeah, so it's just like dark aqua green and a light aqua green. Yeah. And gray maybe and white. Pretty neat. It's, it's kind of cool. Very cool. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. That we bought. Um, I, I, I forgot to mention because we got uh, uh, this, this. This tape measure. Yeah, this is a tape measure. It's really cool. But this reminds me. Um, I did run into Trisha Malcolm while I was there. Did you? Yes. And I always love running into Trisha Malcolm. She, 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 she's great fun. And mm hmm. She she was really busy, but you know we we got to chat a while. I I showed off the shawl I was working on. She really seemed to like that. It's the bigger on the inside? No, something else. What yeah. The, oh, the, the one that you're working. Yeah, the green. The, 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 yes. the green one. The yeah. green one. Yeah. Um. So she really liked that, and then I I met her boss, which is kind of cool. Although nice. he's, he's not really in the knitting side of things, but still, it was it was neat. Nice to make friends. Yeah, and then and Tanya got to meet both of them, you know, and that was fun. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, so so overall, I had a good time. I did a lot of walking around. I saw a bunch of people that I knew. Um, you know, and, and, and it's just it's just a weird atmosphere. There's a lot of people there. It's not, and it, 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 unlike Rhinebeck, it's in a much smaller feeling space. It feels a lot I more didn't crowded. I think the marketplace was as crowded this year as last, yeah. um, for some unknown reason. Oh, and, and 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 I got my picture on the Vogue Knitting Live website. Did you? Yeah, if you go to the Vogue Knitting Live website, and scroll through the pictures, you can see me at the holiday yarn booth because I was there talking with Jen about the socks. So, uh huh. Uh, speaking of the socks, yeah. Um, here are the socks. All done. Well, kind of. They need to be blocked. Um, How do you block your socks? I don't know. I've never done socks. It's my first pair of socks. We may have to get you forms. Yeah, maybe. So it's, it's... I think we'll have to get you forms. Socky. Yeah, um, it looks nice. <laughs> it's, it's, it's toe up uh, with an afterthought heel. Um, there, there, there's cables going down the front here, and then obviously a plain heel or plain sole. Mm -hmm. And then up here, it's uh, cables with drop stitches, um, which, which makes it really stretchy. Uh, nice. It's just it's kind of cool looking. Did she like them? Yeah, she liked them. Um, so you know, that date should hopefully be published in the near future. Good. You know. You want to see what I did with my second day class? Okay, sure. Well, I signed up for Estonian shawls. Uh, I love Estonian lace. And whoops, this we made a sample. So, this is the Lily of the Valley pattern, and you could see my nups. Yeah, you see the right noops. there. The <laughs> noops are right there. And um, this is Shetland wool, 100% Shetland wool, which is a little heavier, yeah. apparently, than Estonian wool. But okay. it's what Nancy uh, Bush brought. Mm -hmm. 
So I know I said I didn't have much internet on the boat, but I had enough <laughs> <laughs> to look for Estonian wool. And I actually found on Etsy this woman in Estonia who sells Estonian lace wool. Okay. So 100% wool. It's uh, Nancy Bush had said that you need to look for like 1,400 yards for 100 grams. And that's what this is. It's coming to me from Estonia. It cost me as much for shipping as it did for the yarn. But I um, purchased, I ordered um, two books, one on Estonian shawls that's by Nancy Bush. Yeah, and then there's book. the Hopsalu shawls. My, 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 my first folk knitting pattern is a modified uh, stitch, classic Estonian stitch pattern that I found in that book. So. Well, I'm excited because... Um, I got an off-white, and then I got a very, very light blue. Mm -hmm. So there'll be two different shawls. And I'm figuring for the summer, one of them will be on the needles. Um, but I'm, so I'm excited to really feel what the Estonian wool feels like in comparison to this. Mm -hmm. So, But this is nice. I'm, I'm very happy with this. And I, I think I'll call it a handkerchief or something. <laughs> Maybe I can put it in as a pocket square. Um, I, I had never done that kind of lace, and I liked listening to Nancy's stories about mm -hmm. how she got involved with it and how she's really been involved in the, the Hopsalu knitting circle there in terms of trying to help the women uh, make this a going financial concern. So that was really quite interesting. Mm -hmm. So that was great. Yeah. You want to talk about the podcast meetup? Sure, the podcast meetup. That, 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 was, that was probably the crowning moment of Vogue Knitting Live for me. I, 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 I definitely enjoyed that a great deal. So so it's this podcast meetup that's, uh, that was, it was, I guess, uh, set up by Eric of Sticks Plus Twine and Jenny, and Jenny. of Tiny, Tiny Paper Foxes. Mm -hmm. uh, but the venue and stuff, that, that part was set up by Alex, whose rivalry name is Alex is Awesome. And then and she, she, she's definitely awesome. I got to meet her right at the end. She's, she has... It was a really nice place. And we had a separate little area. Yeah. So she, she set all that up. And she's all, she has almost as much energy as my wife. You, know, you, would, you wouldn't think that's possible. But I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm on my way out. And she walks over to me and says, Hi, how are you? It's great to see you. And it's like, oh, Everybody was really okay. friendly. Yeah. Yeah, so... I met another Tanya, who's another podcaster. Yeah, yes, yes, uh, Knitting Spring. I, yes. I know her. I'm, I, 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 I'm and her uh, Jenny, of course, was there, and then mm. her husband was there. Yes. And we talked for a while. Yes, De Devin. Devin. Mm -hmm. And then Kristen of Wool and Vine Yarns was there. Yes, she was. And actually, we talked about sewing. Oh. Um, because she's, she does the, the project bags, and she does a beautiful job on the project bags, but she's has been working on making a handmade wardrobe, kind of like Isabel. Okay. Uh, and she had tried to make something, I guess, about two or three months ago, and by following the pattern. And mm -hmm. one would think that that would be sufficient, mm -hmm. and especially if you take your measurements and you see what the pattern says the measurements should be, but they lie to mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been sewing quite a while, so I was just trying to give her some hints about what you can do with the sewing, and one of the things that when I took customized sewing classes or how to how to sew couture mm -hmm. um, is instead of cutting the normal seam width allowance, you give yourself an extra inch. It feels like you're wasting the fabric, but there's more waste in fabric if you make something that's too small. And it's too small because it, your body is not according to the pattern. Mm -hmm. it, Stuff happens. Yeah, and, and, so, and, and, and sewn garments are made of woven fabric, and woven exactly. fabric is not stretchy, stretchy. at all. That's which, right. which is very, which is difficult. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't expect having had so much experience with knitting because knitting is very stretchy. Yes. So I was trying to just help a little bit, and I said, you know, whenever you have a question, just let me know. I, I bet I can help. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I talked with her. I said hi to Mina. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I, I got to meet, meet Mina as well. 
So you got to talk to Mina? Yeah, uh, it's funny because I think I had Ginny introduce me to her. Oh, nice. I, I was, you know, too shy to just go up to her myself. Uh, so so Ginny walked me over, introduced me, and, and you know, we, we talked for a little while about designing and things and like that. she does like designing. Yeah, so so that, that was really cool. And then uh, I also met uh, Gabby of uh, Once Upon a Corgi podcast. Oh, did you? Yeah, she's great. I love her. And you love her because yeah. we well, talked about her podcast last time. Well, yes, yes. But, I mean, it's not just a corgi. She's, she's just cool, and she's a Hufflepuff. And, 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 and I think I might have gotten her to start House Cup. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, 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 so I'm walking her through getting started, and I'm really hoping oh, she'll, be nice. she'll join us in the Hufflepuff soon. That would be we, great. We can all be crazy Harry Potter people together. I think that's nice. I mean, <laughs> I like it just because it's another place to chat. Yeah. I think we're really nice people, and yeah. we, we seem to really enjoy meeting with each other online. Yeah. So it's, I, I find it's very friendly. Yeah. Nice. Very, very nice. And of course, Eric of Sticks Plus Twine. I got to talk to him for a little while, and he's 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 great. He's I only got to say hi to him. So. Yeah, he's he's funny. Um, we we were he Devin Jenny. He seems kind of buttoned I, down. What, what I don't know what that means. It's very kind of formalish. I guess so. Yeah. 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 Um, he has this thing how there how there aren't enough men's knitting patterns and I, I agree with them and I, and I have some ideas about working with him to try to change that but uh, let's see where the wind takes us but uh -huh. uh, there, there was this one incident where um where uh we they 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 had drinks and they were about to toast and then he he turns to me and says uh Oh wait, you don't have a drink. Uh, do you do you want to wait for us uh, for you to get the drinks uh, before we make a toast? And, I, and I'm like, um, you're you you are far too considerate. And he's and he says, I'm Canadian. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that 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 I I thought that was cute. And you know, his his partner was there, and then. Uh, Carly of uh, Maiden with Carl Energy was there, and uh, she's always fun. I, I, I like her a lot. Um, and she, she was really excited to see the progression of my shawl. Um, nice. Yeah, and she showed it off to everyone, so everyone got to see my shawl. And was like, Good. Okay. Uh, Good. So, you know, and, and then... It, 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 was, it was just a great evening. I, I really enjoyed it i had fun while we were there we had tickets to the dinner back at vkl so we mm. ran back um because i had won the the vkl attendance last year and i was wasn't sure whether or not they'd ask you to me to stand up and say hi i'm here from mm. last year they mm. didn't which was fine yeah uh it was arnie and what is it Carlos were the speakers. Arnie and Carlos were the speakers for dinner. Mm -hmm. They're hysterical. They're hysterical. Um, they have done a book on Christmas ornaments. Actually, Christmas balls. Well, I'm telling you, that was a running joke throughout their entire presentation. And then they were talking about how they, they had decided they wanted to get a, a vacation home out in the countryside. And he let... I think it was Carlos go and look at this, and he bought it without letting Arnie know. <laughs> it was hysterical. So anyway, I also ordered their book. It should be coming momentarily. <laughs> um, so there's directions for 55 different Christmas balls in that. Yeah, I got. I gotta say one one thing with the uh, snowstorm is it really messed with our mail. I mean, we 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 ordered some some knitting bags and some some yarn from Jinx Yarns and all sorts of things like that and 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 we're part of the Yarn of the Month Club for the Nerd Girl. And Nothing. Yeah, we know it's in transit. It's just, it, it, I guess, the post system's just so backed up that nothing's going out anywhere. It's crazy. Mail trucks. They, they have to run on the, the roads. You mm. already told us how it's 
poor plowing. Mm-hmm. Um, well, the roads are clear now, so hopefully any day now. Start coming in. Mm-hmm. We had our mail held. I can't tell you whether anything is late or not. And mm-hmm. I have most of my stuff sent to the office anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, so it, it arrives at school. And, you know, it's hard to say whether it's delayed or not. I mean, I have a 24-hour delay getting from the mail room to my office. Mm-hmm. So... Um, I'm waiting on knitting needles, you know, the, to replace the ones that I broke while we were on the boat. Mm. I um, I think it's around here someplace. Yes, I had it. I had it here. The, ah, yes. I was working on these mittens, and all of a sudden I realized that the stitches were loose. And I thought, as usual, I'd unscrewed the. Uh, interchangeable needle. Yeah, I I, I, under, I know how that is. Yeah, I hadn't. I'd snap the darn thing oh, right yeah. off. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've done that before. That's, Just, that's horrible. And it was, they're not my best needles. I mean, I didn't take my best needles because I was flying. I was afraid if anybody wanted to take my needles, I didn't want to have my best needles mm-hmm. taken from me. So these were bamboo needles, um, and perhaps the strain I was putting them under was too much. Mm-hmm. But I had to put them on stitch holders, so I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish this sock, and then I will go back to my mittens. Um, I don't. Did I say how I finished these? No, I don't think so. Okay. So last time I was here, I was down to about this far mm-hmm. on the first sock. So now, while on the boat, I did both. I finished both socks. Yes, you've, you've put me to shame. Well, it's a good thing. Well, first of all, we're not clubbing people, okay? <laughs> so we did go out to dinner. Um, yeah, on the, to, to be fair, I did have to take care of my wife. Well, and you had a snowstorm. Yeah. I was on a boat in the Caribbean. Mm. Um, it's a big difference. Mm. But we don't. We may go out for dinner, but we don't stay out. Um, but we also don't go to bed early. So for us, bedtime's around midnight. And so you come back from dinner around 9, it's three hours of knitting. Um, and so, and it was really good I had these because these were in my, I finished them up, I guess, in the first airport, St. Thomas. Mm-hmm. And I had them in my carry-on. Well, thank God, because when we got home to New York, these are the only socks I had. And so I w- put them on to be able to get into the house. Otherwise, I would have had frostbitten toes. <laughs> mm. Unbelievable. So... I'm waiting on the replacement needles for these. Um, so when they come, I can start my mittens back up again because I'm sure this won't be the only snowstorm we have. I got this at, at uh, Vogue Knitting. It's called A Knit Story, and I think it's from Yarn Company, uh, their booth. Uh, uh, Elizabeth, my darling daughter, and I passed by their booth, and I said, oh, how pretty that is, and she said, don't need it. <laughs> and that was Friday. Mm. So Saturday, when she went off to look at something else, I decided I desperately needed it, and mm. I bought it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm glad I got it. So I know that it's white and black, and so, I happen to like white and black. But so, so somebody actually shared a cool life hacks type of YouTube video with me recently, where you use binder clips. Uh, and you can like uh, remove the little metal parts of the binder clips, and you can you can thread your your knitting through and just attach it to a bowl and make like a fake yarn bowl type of thing. It's really cool. Ha! Huh. 